everybody. This is Verna from StampinNotes.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm located in western New York State <clears throat> between two small towns, Canisteo and Greenwood, New York. And welcome to my Facebook Live. Um, today's live, I am featuring a pocket card made with this beautiful set. This is the Christmas season bundle. It is this um, stamp set here, and it has no sentiments, but beautiful um, images of evergreens and holly and some berries. And then the dies in this bundle are beautiful. Um, these are the seasonal labels dies. Love the labels. Hi, Margaret. Nice to have you here. Um, I use this one quite a bit. I'm using this one today. I use this big one quite a bit and there's all of these dies that come with this set. I'm also using the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper, which is just gorgeous. I think it's my favorite in the catalog. Thank you for sharing, Margaret. If you comment and share, I will put you in a drawing for something special, some little gems or paper or something like that. Um, so to begin with today, uh, for our pocket card, we're gonna do a simple card and then we're gonna do one stepped up. And we're gonna start with a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm using soft succulent and this is scored sorry four and a quarter by eleven it's scored at five and a half and this is a card that was inspired by a card that i saw rachel tessman do from stamp your art out and then we're going to score it at one and a quarter too so on one of the ends hey rosalie nice to see you here nice to see you ladies so I'm gonna put it in my trimmer, and our trimmer has a scoring blade and a cutting blade on it. The scoring blade is this light gray one right here. And we're just gonna score that right there. This is the cutting blade. It's a great tool to have. It's one that I use all the time. Okay, yeah, I like watching her too. Um, so I'm gonna, Fold this tab over on the end here, like that. And so we have our little pocket. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. And I'm just gonna put glue on the very edge of the sides of this shorter section here. You don't wanna put it on your longer section because uh, you won't have anything um, to adhere it to at the top. And you just want a very thin amount like this. All right, so this will, we'll get this done so that'll be um, starting to stick to that. Um, and then I am going to put a piece of designer series paper, and this is three by four. I'm using the pine cones here, and I'm gonna lay it towards the bottom, and you wanna even all on all the sides here, here, about the same distance. And I'm using the glue today. I have a new glue bottle that I know won't get plugged up <laughs> because it's new. Beautiful day out there today. I hope to go out and do some weeding. Not that I enjoy weeding, but I enjoy being outside. Okay, so that's down there, and then we have a piece that's one by four, and I'm using the, um, this is the opposite side of this, and I'm gonna put that 
I'm gonna put that uh, right here like this. I was trying to decide if I wanted to use that other side. What is everybody doing today? Yeah, it's getting um, cloudy here too, Margaret. All right, so this is gonna go on our little flap here. Just like that. And then I'm going to run a piece of our evergreen ribbon across the flap and then I'm gonna glue it down. I wanna do a bow on this one side right here. Scissors. I would say this is about probably 15 inches. I'm going to lay it like that. Then I want my bow on the left side. You could do it on either side. Oh, I want to do my loop with a shorter one. Oh, you went to the dentist. Oh boy, I got a flu shot. Yeah, I haven't gotten my flu shot yet. Oh, good grief. Loop and go around the loop and pull this through. And I'm losing it for some reason. Try this again. It's because I'm trying to do it on Facebook Live. You know how that goes. All right, and then through this loop. Let's see if I can catch it without, no. Nope. I gotta pull it down closer to me. Sorry, this is taking so long. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, my sister is down at, um, oh, in North Carolina right now. Hilton Head. Lucky her. Okay, finally, we got our bow here. I'm going to cut off this end right here. I'm going to put some glue on this flap. And glue it down. I think we need a little more up here. And that is too much. Yeah, she has sent me beautiful pictures. Yeah, it is beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to bring up um, this little tag. This is one of the tags from the bundle, the Christmas season bundle. And I'm going to do some stamping on it. And I want it to go on the front of this and stick up a little bit like this, just like that. So um, that's why the bow had to be on the left. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp some pine cones on it and I'm gonna stamp those in soft suede. Actually, I think I'll use crumb cake. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have never been there either, Rosalie. I would like to go. She said it's really, the current, everything is really, the water's really warm right now. So, we're gonna stamp a pine cone here. One right here next to that. And then, 
I think I'll stamp one up to like that. Now I made a little, um, some little mask. I stamped on post-it note paper and then you want to stamp where it's sticky so it'll hold this down over the pine cones. And I'm going to stamp some greens on this. And I'm using Evening Evergreen. I'm going to stamp out to the edge like that. Same thing here. And then I'm going to go up this way. And like that. All right, let's take our mask off and see what we've got. Yeah, that looks pretty. All right, and I'm gonna um, pop this on here with some dimensionals. And then we'll make the inside part. And I'm just putting them down the middle and I'll put some on the bottom edge. Let's see which way's the bottom this is right here. Because the top part will be sticking up um, where we're going to be pulling the little card in and out. Thanks, girls. All right. So I'm going to push that over like that. Just a little bit this way. Okay, so for our little card that we're gonna pull in and out, we need a piece of card stock. And I'm using even, Evening Evergreen, and this is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And our uh, basic white is three and a half by five. Oh, and today, did you guys know, maybe you already know, that the Kling stamp sets in the annual catalog are 15% off. Most, almost all of them are. So that is an awesome deal. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp Sending Love and Christmas Cheer. And this is from the Delivering Cheer stamp set, which... I'm going to feature, I think, for one of the Christmas card classes. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, so this is Delivering Love and Cheer and stamping it at the top. Oh, I forgot to do something. I forgot to put my little pull tab in. I want to pull this up before it completely dries. All right. So I need about a two-inch piece of the ribbon. About that much and I'm just gonna make a little loop and I'm gonna stick it in there you want your little loop to be centered out like that and we need a little bit of glue on here We'll stick that end back down in there. Okay, so this will fit right into our little pocket card, like that, or our little envelope. All right, and then we need a few rhinestones. 
on this and oh I don't know maybe I'll put them one or two up there let me grab the rhinestones we got a little glue right there it is Margaret the only thing is a bundle you can get the oh the stamp set but the bundle itself, like if you want to get the punch, um, the punch is not included in that, but you could just get the stamp set. And that's gonna be our next um, Christmas card class, actually. I don't like these on there. I'm gonna take them off. All right, so I'll show you the stepped up version of this. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's almost the same, but we've got this wreath uh, thing going on here on the front. Um, we've got layers of pine cones and greenery and fronds, pine fronds. And I've used some of that uh, Bedazzling Designer Series paper. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing. We've got our uh, soft succulent card stock, and this is 11 by four and a quarter squared at five and a half. And then one and a quarter. And I've got to score that on the end. Right here. Oops, excuse me. All right, so we've got a little pocket going on. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere down these sides, putting it on the glue on the very edge of the short section on the sides. Okay, and then we'll get our pocket going. I'm gonna take the three by four designer series paper I'm gonna put that on the front. Yeah, it is a good deal for anyone not having that. I wonder if that one will carry over. I, I don't, I think it's new this year. All right, so this one we're just gonna glue down. We're not gonna put the bow up here. We're gonna glue the flap down and put some designer series paper on it. And for anyone who hasn't heard, there is a Christmas card class, November 12th, Friday, November 12th at 6.30 p.m. And you are qualified, you qualify for that class when you place an order of $25 or more in my online store. And there is a host code to use. I'm gonna post that on my Facebook page today. It was in the newsletter. It is PGRNG24H, and when you purchase supplies, that will qualify you to take that class, and you will receive the free PDF tutorial. And again, that is with the Evergreen Elegance stamp set. Um, it's this one right here. It's it's beautiful. The tree images are beautiful, and this is the punch. And if you order the stamp set today, you would get 15% off that. Today only, Stampin' Up's having a special, which is cool. All right, so um, I'm bringing my tag back in. And I've already stamped and die cut uh, the floral images. I've stamped these, two of these, and I've got three pine cones. 
I've got several of the, the pine branches here. You don't get my newsletter, the email? Wow. I thought you were on my email list, Margaret. I can put you on it if, I'll, I'll look and see. It's const, through constant contact. All right, so we're gonna start building our little wreath. Our, um, and we're gonna put these on the sides here. And um, if you're new to stamping, uh, I'm just gonna show my dies that cut these. And what did I do? Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is this die right here. Die cut that. And I've got two of them. And I'm just dabbing a little glue on this. This glue you don't want to use very much, just a little bit. And it's going to hang off the end a little bit. And this is a distinctive stamp. You can see where um, it's left a lighter color with um, some shading in there. This one is going to go on the other side. And we're not going to worry that it's not perfectly um, the same on each side. That's what makes it kind of um, look real. And then I have this image, and this is um, die cut from the bedazzling paper. This is a really thick paper. Now I want to show you, if you have this paper and you, um, this is evening, they were evening evergreen, Margaret, on um, soft succulent paper. If you have this paper and you want to make it easier to die cut, this backing you can pull up and the whole sheet will rip off and make it nice and easy, much easier to die cut this. See if I can get it started and show you. Okay, so this whole thing, well, it's not ripping off good, of course, right now, but it will come off, the whole backing. I hold it there. And you can pull that whole thing off and it makes it much more thinner and easier to die cut. All right, so I've cut two of these. I want to put them back to back. So when I use the die, this die right here. Um, I will die cut one with a bedazzling paper uh, this side up. Then I will turn it over and cut it with this side up. And it will make it so it comes out mirror mirrored and um, you can glue them together, which is what I'm going to do right now. Yeah, it's pretty thick. I can't remember where I saw that. Um, someone else was talking about it and said they pulled, peeled that backing off there. And sure enough, it will come off. All right, so I'm gonna put these, adhere these together just like this. There. So um, if anybody's, because this is going to be sticking up here and we want the back <clears throat> to not just be paper. And actually, I'm going to put it this way, going this way. And I'm going to glue that down. Whoops. Too much glue. Oops. 
I'll spread that out a little bit. So when you're building your floral arrangement on this, you want to have some of it hanging off the sides. And this takes a few minutes to adhere that sparkly stuff. All right, and I'm gonna come in with some of my evergreen uh, fronds. And you can see I've snipped these ends so they look more like evergreen. And you can take your um, bone folder and just kind of bend them, bend some of them up so it gives it dimension. I'm gonna, this one I had used on something else and didn't like it and took it off. So let's see, I'm gonna put this one going here. Well, I don't wanna cover that beautiful bedazzling. Star ornaments. Yeah, I there's an origami wreath I'd like to do. The paper folding is fun. I'm just cutting up this like that. And I'm going to bend some of these. I'm going to bend some up like that. I'm gonna make this go the, up here. I don't like that covering that like that. Maybe like put that like that. And I need one down here. Again, I'm just snipping up the fronds here. And I'll have this one kind of hanging down below here. Now let's layer some pine cones on that. I've stamped some in crumb cake and a couple in darker, the soft suede. I'm gonna put one this way. I want him hanging down a little bit off, kind of like to mirror this here. I'm gonna put one this way. And I think I'll put one like this. I'm gonna bring in my evergreen ribbon and I'm gonna um, cut off about a six inch piece because I'm gonna tie off a bow with it. This is something we used to do at the floral shop. This is my piece to tie off my bow. Let's move this out of the way a minute. And I'm going to take my ribbon. I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to hold it like that. I'm going to make a loop on this end and you want them to be the same size or nearly the same size. And I do want to do one side um, with one loop less than the other, okay? And I'm gonna do another, I'm over here, so I'm gonna push that against my thumb and make another loop. So I've got two loops there. And I'm gonna cut this tail off. So I've got two loops on one side, one loop on the other. I'm gonna bring this over my other ribbon in that I'm gonna tie it off with. I'm gonna hold this down, stick into my fingers because I've got glue on them. I'm gonna hold this down there. I'm gonna tie this around the way those loops are formed. 
I gotta wipe my fingers, they're sticky. Okay, so I've got one loop on one end, two loops on the other. I'm just gonna turn that in like that. And then I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna tie that into a knot. I think it was this one here. Just to hold that in place, good. Pulling this loop out. Okay, so we've got this. I'm going to pinch it up like that, and I'm going to take a glue dot. Well, first I need to glue this down to my car base, and it's going to be up here a little bit, so I want to keep the glue on the bottom half of the tag. Okay, so there's our little arrangement. Yeah, I like the pine cones too. And I'm gonna bring in some glue dots and I want the bow to be here. And I thought I brought my take a pick tool over and I'm not seeing it. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use two glue dots. Like that. I'm gonna bring my bow back in. I'm gonna lay it in there. Like that. I'm gonna come back and trim these, um, tails. Trim this one off. All right, so we have our little um, centerpiece on the front of our card. And let's do our card. So we've got our base. We're gonna glue this to the base. And I will post the measurements on my blog. I'll have a link to it below the video. I'm gonna put it on the base like this. Oops, my loop. We gotta put a loop at the top. And we will put our loop in there and stamp. I'm going to stamp a pine cone down here with some greenery. Well, a bowl maker is nice to have. I've seen it done with a fork too, which is really cool. I would like to learn that actually. And then our green, pine greens. And this is gonna hang off here. This is gonna go this way. And then I just need to stamp the sentiment at the top. Sending love and Christmas cheer. All right. And this, um, I'll go over with my evening evergreen pen and fix that, make that darker. So this is our other pocket card.
This doesn't want to slide in. Let me open that up. There. Okay. So we've got this one and we have this one here too. It's more simple. Both cute cards. I hope you enjoyed that, girls. And I will look forward to seeing you Monday evening for Mystery Stamping. Take care.